Now what we are uh, doing here, the C, uh, I try to explain. So suppose uh, for this node, if we know the path or distance of this node and path of distance of this node, okay. So um, maybe uh, path of distance, maybe whatever, maybe you can say X and Y, you can consider. So what we will do is the path of distance, uh, um, suppose it is some X and some Y. So a, so we will, if we want to calculate this one, so path of distance this is suppose 10 and this is 12 and whatever, whatever maybe. So if we add the distance, this one, given distance at 2 plus minus plus of minus 1 and if we found that from and we found that the distance is uh, greater or less than uh, this number uh, so we will choose accordingly suppose uh, suppose you can say that uh, distance of 2 is suppose 10 or x let us say x and this is y distance of 5 is y okay measured from any point suppose this is distance is x uh, or path is x and this is uh, y now suppose x plus minus 1 if it is greater than y then y will remain there but if i see that x plus of minus 1 is less than y then i will choose i will replace this y and i will choose x plus minus uh, 1 and will replace this distance with that that value now you can say that i can say that uh, let us consider the distance of this vertex to maybe it is you can say that it is u you can say that it is u okay say so let us say it is u and distance of 5 let us say it is v okay so what i am just telling that so suppose distance of u means suppose this one distance of u plus this uh, minus 1 means the cost so distance of u plus the cost from this one to this one if it is uh, less than distance of suppose it is this is v it is not u sorry it is v okay suppose it is uh, less than uh, of v then what you will do you will replace this uh, v you will replace this v okay by distance of this one okay just i have tell uh, just what i have tell and you have to do this for all each all for all the nodes okay so this is the age list which i've previously told you okay so now uh, we will calculate uh, what is basically happening over here okay so suppose this is zero so uh, initially I, I if i you can start from any of the ages you can start from the any of the ages so initially start with zero uh, suppose one so it is zero and all the distance initially i considered it as infinity infinity okay all does infinity so now see what is happening so distance of one is zero okay now distance of let's say, say suppose two so what will this happen distance of one is zero okay so okay no matter now distance of two so distance of two is suppose here let us consider this equation it is suppose infinity but distance of u u is zero zero plus c c is suppose six so zero plus six is 6 which is less than uh, infinity okay so replace this infinity with this one that is 6 so i replace this with 6 so i replace this with 6 okay now let us consider uh, this one uh, so it will be what it is 0 it is infinity so 0 plus 5 is 5 so it will be replaced by suppose 5 okay now you have to do suppose i will do this so this is infinity so 0 plus 5 is 5 but this is infinity so minimum is 5 so replace this with 5 okay so now what we will do you will do for this one suppose this is infinity this is 6 now so 6 plus of minus 1 is what obviously it is 5 so it is 5 okay good now see suppose this one okay this is 5 this is infinity so 5 plus of minus 1 it will be uh, 4 okay it will be 4 very good now from there here now, now from this so this is c uh, this is 5 uh, plus 1 6 but this is 5 so it will remain same also see from here if you calculate this is 4 plus 3 that is uh, 7 but 7 is uh, greater than 5 so 5 remains same now again you have to do the iteration okay so again i start iterating 
so let us see 0 plus 6 uh, is 6 it is 6 okay no problem 0 plus 5 5 0 plus 5 is 5 no problem now see about this one 5 to note 4 to note 3 so note 4 to note 3 is 5 plus of minus 2 that is 3 now but it, it was 5 so replace it by 3 okay now from here to here so what are the uh, things that we can consider so it may be say suppose from so uh, it is 3 minus uh, 3 uh, minus plus of minus 2 is 1 so it is 1 okay so it see this has been changed uh, so this is 5 minus 1 4 okay all right this 3 and this is 1 so 3 plus 1 4 but it is 5 so it, it is uh, what will happen it will be 4 okay so and this way you have to go on iterating okay so now uh, this is 1 and this is minus 1 okay so 1 and 1 is means 0 so it is ultimately 0 so you go on like this way okay so and hence you will get the result of this particular equation okay so this is 0 and also if you consider uh, this one 5 minus 4 this is same 4 plus this is all, all right no problem in there and well i think we have reached the minimum position so if you again iterate it's the, let us consider another time 0 6 but uh, this is 1 so it will remain same 0 5 but it is 3 okay 0 to 4 so 5 so it is 5 now now from 4 to 3 that is 5 minus 2 is 3 okay so 3 no problem is there so from 3 to 2 3 minus plus of minus 2 1 okay 1 no problem 1 from 2 to 5 it is 1 plus of minus 1 0 okay no problem 3 2 1 4 0 okay so it will be 0 now 5 this is fine works fine and this is works fine okay so it is in the stable state so what we have concluded after this iteration that is a node number uh, vertex is if it is the vertex suppose it is a vertex vertex and corresponding the cost so if the vertex 1 cost is 0 for the vertex 2 um, cost is 1 vertex 3 cost is 3 vertex 4 uh, cost is uh, 5 I think okay for 5 uh, it is 0 for 6 it is for 6 it is 4 and for uh, is there any vertex left over here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and that is uh, I think okay so okay so uh, this is the corresponding answer okay so uh, we have get, ultimately find the answer okay so uh, now this this is the way you can find the ultimately the cost okay so now let us consider another problem suppose uh, one okay uh, this is one two okay this is a four and this is three let us this one minus ten and four and this is zero and this is uh, suppose this i can start with you can start from anywhere so let us consider this is four okay the cost is five uh, this is five and this is three okay so this is one <coughs> So it is given like this way let us check this is 4 okay now i consider all this part as infinity 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 and okay so first i remove this one because i have to show you what is the problem this is infinity okay so let us just uh, what are the age so it is 2 8 3 2 it is 4 3 this is 1 4 and another is 3 2 
So initially, let us start with this uh, node number one. So I set it as zero, and these are all as infinity. So it will be replaced. Uh, suppose I start with uh, three two. So three two. Okay. So you can start from anywhere. So if you start with from here, zero plus four, uh, it will be um, uh, obviously it is four. Now one two four, uh, it is five. Okay. So it will be eight. Okay. And from eight, ten, it is minus two. You can get. Now again iteration, four plus zero, four, but it is minus two. Okay. All right. Zero plus five, this five, all right, no problem with this. Five plus three, this eight, okay, eight, and eight minus ten, two minus two. So this you are getting this. So for for the node one, it is zero. For node two, it is minus two. For the node uh, three, it is eight, and for node four, it is five. Okay. So how many times we have to relax? We have to relax for n is equal to number of edges is four. Minus one, that is four minus one. So you have to relax this for four minus one times. Whatever the calculation, that is starting from here. From here you start one, two, so three and four. Again you have to go for this three times. Okay. Now what is the drawback? So let us consider this one. So let us consider same problem. What are the drawbacks of this particular problem? Now just I will add one h. Same problem. Just I will add one h. This is four. This is zero. Infinity, infinity, infinity. This one is five. This is three, and this is minus ten. Now I will add one h, like this way, and the value is five. Okay. So what are the things we are getting? See, zero plus four. It is obviously it will be four. Zero five. Five. This is eight. This is minus two. Okay. Now from two to minus two five. This is uh, again minus two five. So it is will be uh, three. Now three two. Okay. Now I can start with this zero to to four minus two. Okay. This is minus two. Zero to five is five, but it is minus three. Okay. All right. Three to three six, so it will be six. Now see, uh, now already I have repeated two times, so that will be last time I have to repeat. Six ten, this will be I think uh, it will be six and six to ten, so it will be minus four. Okay, and minus four to five again. See minus four to five is minus one. So if you go on repeating this, you will see that this will never change after. N minus one. That is after three times repetition, you will see that still these are nodes are not in the stable condition. Okay, so this is the drawback of this Bellman four. Now, why this is drawback? Because you see there is a cycle forming. That is from two to four, and from here to two to four is five, three, and minus ten. So it is five plus three minus ten. That is it is negative. So it is minus two. So and the, <laughs> this is the cycle is forming. Uh, so for the cycle, if there is a cycle and it is creating a negative thing, so in that case, Bellman four doesn't work. Okay, so you should uh, see that in the particular graph there should be no cycle formation. If the cycle formation is there, the Bellman four algorithm will not work. Now one problem is one thing is that why Bellman four we we are using Dijkstra's algorithm can also solve the problem. Okay. So then, why uh, why this Bellman four is because uh, for this particular uh, diagram you say Dijkstra's algorithm only work for positive edges, but see here there are several negative edges are there. So Dijkstra's algorithm uh, doesn't uh, calculate negative edges. So Bellman four came. Bellman four can uh, calculate the negative edges, but again problem is that there should be no cycle, no cycle in the graph that will form. Uh, a negative value. Okay, so if it is there, negative value, then we will see that Bellman Ford fails. Okay, thank you.